Okay, we're gonna have some things on the wiring of this. This will be mounted on the wall. Inside here, there will be some paperwork. And in that paperwork, there will also be a drawing of the room and where this equipment needs to be placed. Okay, also where this is mounted on the wall, where the control is mounted on the wall, where the power unit goes, where the sorter goes, it's all gonna be in this drawing, okay? Here is your input here. This is a 120 volt input. Okay, I'm going to have a pigtail already attached to this. It's going to have a plug, a three prong plug, just like any electrical piece or extension cord or something. It's going to be a three prong. You want to just plug it into the 120 volt outlet that will be supplied by others. Okay, it should be there. So you mount this guy on the wall, plug it in the wall. It's ready to go, ready for the connections to the doors and to whatnot. Okay. Down here at the bottom, we have these two connections. Okay, From the doors up on the lowest floor door, it's going to have the opposite connectors on it. Okay, It's plug and play. Bring it through these two holes. Go ahead and hook up your wires, plug and play. One of these has five wires on it, one of them has three. Hook up the five to five and the three to three. If you make a mistake, it won't hurt it but it won't function correctly. Uh, you, you'll get lights that are on for the wrong purpose and stuff like that. But do the three wire to three wire, five wire to five wire, and uh, you'll be set to go on this, okay? These here, these are all the terminals, okay? This, again, is a control box for the sorter. So if we walk over to the sorter, you'll see where these wires are to attach to here. They come through this hole here. There's a connector on the end and you hook up the wires color for color, number for number. So you have a blue area, a gray area, a white area, a green, a red, a black. So as we walk over here, we'll see those wires. This is your harness. You're gonna run the harness down and over to this bottom control panel. These are the colors. You have your blue wires, you have your black wires, you have a green wire, a gray wire, and a white wire, okay? The green one goes to the green terminal. There's no label on here. That's because green goes to green, okay? Got a white wire, white goes to white. Got a gray wire, gray goes to gray, okay? And then you have all your blacks and blues. Each one of these is numbered with a number. This says input number nine. This wire here goes to input number nine. We look for the blue and you have number nine right there. So it's gonna go on to the second blue one, okay? Number for number, color for color. Do the colors first, okay? This individual colors first. And then what's left over is gonna be your blue and your blacks and hook up your blues and your blacks. Rick, I have a question. It, there's three whites here, there's three grays here. There's just one white, okay. one gray If you look down here, Okay, you can see these little metal stubs in the middle. Mm -hmm. What those stubs are, it's taking all these gray ones and tying them all together. So all the gray ones are all together, all of the white ones together. Got it. There's nothing in the blue ones. That's because each one of these blues are They're different. Separate. Okay, yeah. so that's why it's important. Just hook up the colors here because it doesn't matter. White can go to any of these. Got it. Gray okay. can go to any of these. Okay. The green goes. There's only one for green. Yep. And then your blues, you have to make sure you match the numbers. Number for number. Okay. Same thing with the black. Match them number for number. Okay. Okay? Yep. Again, these are them, and these are attached. Do your green, your white, your gray, and your blue. The white, the gray, and the green. Do those first. And then you do your blues and your blacks. Okay? White, gray, green, then blues and blacks. Yep. Okay. And just make sure, double check them, triple check them, make sure they're correct. Okay? So, that is what you do to hook up the sorter. Make sure the sorter works 100% independently. Once you get all that working, you plug it in, you turn it on. The key is mounted on the inside, right here. Okay? Take the key off, leave one of them there. <laughs> Take the key off, put it in here, you can turn it on and off here, okay? If you want, you can take the key, turn it on, leave it on, remove the key and put it back in there so you don't lose it, okay? Because you can always turn it off on the disconnect, hit any of these buttons here, okay? So once this is functioning, put it in manual, make sure you're all the way down, put it back into auto, this should be on and it's gonna function.
Okay. Again, these three buttons here are just like what's in the room. This light will be on because it will always default to trash. Okay. If I want to push recycling, maybe this one's labeled glass. If I push this, this light's going to go off. Okay. And once it gets in the position, this light's going to come on saying ready for glass. Okay. If I push this button and it goes from trash over, you're going to see the door light go on. It's going to say it's going to lock out the doors while it transfers over from trash to recycling or vice versa. Okay. Once it gets in the position, it's the red light's going to go off saying you can open the door now and it's ready for whichever one of these is on. Okay. If I want to change it to a different recycling, I push that button. It's going to th these lights are going to go off. That's going to go on saying you can't open up the door, but once it diverts and says ready, it's ready for paper. The paper light's gonna come on, ready for paper, and now the doors are not locked out any longer. You open up the door and you put your paper down, okay? If you walk away at that point, after so many seconds, it's always gonna default back to trash. So when you walk into a room, that yellow button will always be on, okay? Unless somebody's using the system. After a couple minutes, it's always gonna revert back to trash. Um, get the system working, get the doors to work, get your sorter to work, get your compactor to work, and then the last thing to do is to hook up the last three wires. And the last three wires is in this nice little harness here. You add this harness into the door control box, it gives you three wires. These three wires get mounted and connected color for color right here. Red goes to red. Brown goes to brown, white goes to white. Okay, this is it right here. These three wires go here. Okay, this is the only connection between the sorter and the doors. Okay, so when the doors are open, the sorter knows, and when the sorter is sorting, the doors know. That's the only connection. So this plug here, this, this, this one here? Yep. This here is mounted. Inside the control box, you take the control box, you separate the two wires, okay? You put this on one side, hook up this one to the other wire, okay? You pull them apart, you have two. This goes to one, this goes to the other. This is extra now. This is what has to run So the to control those box wires. is gonna need to be pretty close to this. It's gonna be right above it. Right above it? It's gonna be right above it. So what I will probably do, I will go ahead and make this one longer. Okay so that you can actually run it straight to the box. Perfect. In the diagram that's gonna be mounted in this, or, uh, in this box, we'll have where this goes, where the door control box right above it goes, and I'll go ahead and have that wire uh, to the length. Okay? Any questions, call me. I can walk you through it. Sometimes uh, a five minute phone call is a lot better than hours of you trying to figure something out. What's the best phone number to use for you, Ray? Hey, best phone number for me, 24 hours a day. <laughs> I'm gonna say this just like I tell everybody. If you call me three o'clock in the morning, I'm gonna be grouchy, but I will answer the phone, okay? Number is 240-419-1479. That's 240-419-1479. Name's Rick. And for